as you can see here I've got a little box that I got in the mail today or not today but a couple days ago I just haven't had a chance to open it been out of town but um I've been wanting to buy a TIG welder and I read a lot of reviews on how good these things were for the money um, it's an AHP uh, welder it's the new version which I think come out this year 2018 but um, I was going to open it up and do a little um, opening review of it and hopefully here next week I'll have it going and maybe I can start messing with it a little bit but let's see what's in the box Owner's manual. Good old phone here. The welder itself. Not eat. So don't eat them when you open it up. Here we go. Here's what you get, at least in this part. Everything looks pretty good as far as the, uh, it's not dented up or banged up or anything like that, so that's good. It's got a nice 220 plug on it. It's like a little circuit breaker in the back. So I can get it where it'll focus. Man, this game's got so many knobs on it. I don't know what to do with any of these. Hopefully I can get this thing to focus. That would be nice. But uh Got some star amps, main amps, end amps, pulse frequency, pulse amps. Man, pretty high tech here. For somebody who's never TIG welded in his life, this might be a challenge. Let's see what's in this other box here. foot pedal looks pretty nice it's like a cast aluminum or something doesn't feel cheap got this whole welder from Amazon and I got it for like 800 bucks shipped something like that and I bought uh, some tungsten too while I was at it Got talking with some people and looks like this is the 2% lanthanated and it's 330 seconds. Stupid camera won't focus, but 330 seconds, which is from what I was told was about the capability of this machine here. Let's see what other kind of goodies we have in here. So this machine is also a stick welder here. So here's your stick electrode. 
and your ground strap and looks like your uh, 110 adapter to plug into a regular 110 wall outlet which is nice because I don't actually have 220 in here but I uh, always just use my little adapter to go to the dryer outlet which is in that room right there but um and here's the looks like the TIG torch and a couple other things in there Let's see what's in this box here this is the regulator looks like the uh regulator for the torch here So, it's a pretty nice little piece here. Um, it's probably not the most robust one in the world, but it feels pretty nice to me for some China junk. And here it is. comes with a few cups, different cup sizes. Six, five, and a seven. There's a couple other pieces in there. And it's got this here, I guess as a plug for the foot pedal. Looks like. Or no, actually, that's that's what you use if you don't want the foot pedal. It's a uh, finger switch. And here's the TIG torch here. And I don't know if these are cheaply made or what, but it looks pretty good to me. It's got kind of like a I don't know what it is, kind of like a nylon coating on it. It's kind of like a braided nylon fuel line or something is what it kind of almost feels like. But it's pretty nice though. Looks like it's pretty nice for the money. And uh, hopefully in a few weeks week whenever the welding supply opens up, I'll uh, I'll get a gas bottle and see if I can get this thing working. Um, I'd like to be able to start practicing with it a little bit next week. Um, I'm off next week, so I'd like to be able to try some of this stuff out. I'm definitely a TIG welding noob, so it ought to be interesting for sure. Um, but. That's really it for this video. It's like a pretty nice unit for the money. And uh, I will let y'all know how I like it. And um, hopefully maybe give some tips to some beginners like me whenever I figure it out. But uh, that'll all be in another video. But uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.